Today I'm going to be upgrading this old doorbell by installing one of these Eufy security cameras, and I'm going to show you how to do it. These are actually pretty easy to install, and the first thing we're going to do is remove this old doorbell. Sometimes these can get painted over, so if there's paint around it, grab one of these super fancy knives like this and cut around the outside so it doesn't strip the paint. This is more common when the doorbell is attached to wood. Most older doorbells will have screws on the top and bottom, so you're good to remove those now. If you don't see any visible screws, grab a flathead screwdriver like this, and likely underneath there's going to be a latch that you'll need to prop up to get it off. This doorbell is completely wireless and runs on a battery, unlike my new Eufy security camera which needs to be hardwired. To find the wires, I'm going to remove this base plate, and hopefully they'll be tucked inside the wall. Unfortunately, the wires were smashed under the base plate and were damaged, and so I'll have to fix them later. So we've taken off the old doorbell and found the existing wires, so the next step is to flip the breaker to kill the power. The power's dead, but I'm going to use this fault detector to make sure there's no current. This can be a little excessive because doorbells use such low voltage that a volt detector may not even pick up a signal on a live wire. That said, it's always better to be on the safe side and check with the volt detector. The wires are ready to go, so the next step is to go inside and locate my chime. Once you locate your chime, grab this bridge wire out of your Eufy box, then take off the cover. Now locate the two terminals that say front and trans, and use this bridge wire to connect them together. To do that, just loosen the screws, then put in the connector, then tighten the screws down. Once the terminals have been bridged, you can put on the cover and go to the next step. For the next step, I'm going to open up the packaging and locate the base plates, which are found underneath the security camera. In this box there are two plates, and I'm going to show you how to decide which one to use. This first plate is this flat metal one, and it's what the camera is going to connect to. I'll use this base only if I want my camera to look just straight ahead. I don't have a good view if my camera just looks forward, so instead I'm going to use this triangle shaped base to get an angled view. The way it works is this base goes on the bottom, then the flat metal base goes on top of it. If you want a different angle, just flip the triangle base around. Before I put the base plates on, I need to fix these wires. To fix this, I'm going to add a pigtail, and it's the same thing you'll want to do if your wires are too short. To do this, I'm stripping the plastic off the wire so I have a clean connection. Then I'm going to grab this extension wire that's provided in the Eufy box. Then I'm going to connect it to the old doorbell wire. When you twist the wire, make sure you're going clockwise, because that's the way the cap is going to twist. With the pigtails connected, the wires are long enough that I can now put on the base plate. I'm going to use the flat base plate to mark out where I need to drill my holes. This wall is made of stucco, so I'm going to pre-drill the holes, then use an expansion anchor like this to hold the screws down. As I screw into the plastic, it expands out, which locks the screw in place. You can see that I accidentally put the anchor in the wrong place, so learn from my mistakes and don't do that. Also, I found out that the screws that came with the kit were too short for my stucco wall, so I ended up getting some longer screws, and they held everything down just fine. With that done, I'm now ready to put on the camera. Loosen the screws, then either use the forked end, or wrap the wire around clockwise. Once that's done, hook the camera in from the top, and push down on the bottom, and it will lock in place. If you ever need to disconnect the camera, inside the box is this Eufy pin that you can press underneath to unlock it. I originally had the camera at an angle, but decided I wanted it to face forward. With the camera facing forward, the wire nuts wouldn't fit, so I ended up using electric tape to make the pigtail. You generally never want to do this for other electrical projects, but I'm taking the risk for a low voltage doorbell that's under a roof and not exposed to any weather. If your doorbell isn't under a roof like mine is, water could potentially get in around the outside, so you may want to get some waterproof sealant like this Dynaflex Ultra, and run a light bead around the outside. The camera themselves are pretty durable and waterproof, it's more just to protect the wires from the outside elements. Alright, the camera wiring is all hooked up, so the next step is to go flip on the power, and now I should see a yellow ring around the doorbell. It's definitely working, so I'm going to open up the app on my phone, and select doorbell. Allow access to your camera, and then scan the barcode on the box. You'll now need to create your account, then choose your area where you live, 
then you'll be brought to details instructions how to hook everything up. It would have been nice to have these instructions about an hour ago. As you get to the end of the instructions, it's going to ask if your doorbell is lighting up yellow, select yes, then hold the button for 5 seconds and you'll get a ringtone. After that, it's going to do a voltage check, hit next and go through the remaining instructions, then we're now going to pair up the wireless chime. Start by twisting on the outlet adapter, then go ahead and plug it in. Check that the chime lights up, then hold down the button on the top to get it into pairing mode. The chime tells you that everything's been paired, so you'll just need to install any updates, then you'll have a brand new doorbell camera. To get the camera working on a second phone, just install the app, then give it permissions to your home data and local network, allow it to be trusted, and now you have access to your security camera on both phones. This camera's been fantastic as it stores any movement, such as when I mowed my lawn yesterday, and it keeps a stored video file of any activity, like when my son got an electric toothbrush and pretended it was a drill like his dad's. This security camera is the 2K version and it looks and sounds fantastic. I was pretty surprised at how much I could see with the fisheye lens and overall I'm very happy with it. If you want to get this same camera, I'll have an Amazon link to it below. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.